Welcome back everybody to ASSAT. In today's video, we're solving yet another real SAT math question from the official College Board Educator Question Bank. This one with question ID 781C2F6E. The function f of x, or the function f is defined by f of x, is equal to a in parentheses 2.2 to the power of x plus 2.2 to the power of b, where a and b or integer constants and a is bigger than zero and b is bigger than a. The functions g and h are equivalent to the functions h, to function h where k and m are constants do not change. Which of the following equations displays the y coordinate of the y intercept of the graph of y equals f of x in the x y plane as a constant or coefficient? Now do remember again the y intercept has an x value of 0. So g of x and h of x are, as a, as a question said or pointed out, equivalent to f of x. So g of x is equal to a in parentheses 2.2 to the power of x plus k, which is a constant, and h of x is equal to a to the power of 2.2 to the power of x plus m, which is also a constant. So here I've recopied f of x. So f of x is equal to g of x is equal to h of x. g of x now is equal to a to the power of 2.2 to the power of x plus k. Now k is equal to 2.2 to the power of b. Now h of x is equal to a to the power or a times 2.2 to the power of x plus m. So m is equal to a to the power of 2.2 to the power of, v, of b. Right. Because if you look at f of x here for k, k corresponds exactly to 2.2 to the power of b. Here what they've done is they just expanded the, for, the function f of x and added a, to the power, a times 2.2 to the power of x, right? And if you continue the expansion, that would be plus a times 2.2 to the power of b, hence m, right? You gotta remember that a is smaller than zero and b is, is bigger than a. Hence, m cannot be zero, and look at look at why I'm going to tell. So, hence, m cannot be zero because if you're multiplying a real value that is not zero times two point two, and then putting that two point two to the exponent of a real value that is not zero, that will always give you a non-zero value, right? Hence, m cannot be zero. Hence. If you put that back in, right, and a times 2.2 to the power of 0, right, 2.2 to the power of 0 is 1. 1 times a is a. So that will give me h of 0 is equal to a plus m. Now remember, I've said m cannot be 0. And a also cannot be 0 because it's bigger than, um, than 0, right? The function, the, the question told us that, which means that a is non-zero and m is non-zero, which means that a by itself cannot be the y-intercept and m by itself cannot be the y-intercept. Hence, it, hence, it is definitely not one. One is not, or sorry, one is not an option. Now, g of zero is equal to a, right? In parentheses, 2.2 to the power of x plus 2.2 to the power of b, close parentheses. Now, if I take k, which is 2.2b, right? 2.2 times b, which is non-zero, times to the power of a non-zero figure, or a non-zero number, is going to be positive, or sorry, not positive, not necessarily, well, it is going to be positive for sure, but it's going to be non-zero, so it cannot be zero, right? Which would give me a plus, so expanding, a plus a times 2.2 to the power of b, Right here, I, I found a because 2.2 again to the power of zero is just one, so a times one, which is a, and then a plus a times 2.2 to the power of b. Right, this one cannot be zero because a is non zero, b is non zero, and 2.2 is non zero. Doing all of that arithmetic will give you a non zero number, and then a would give you a non zero number because a is bigger than zero. So non-zero plus non-zero would give you the y-intercept, right? Therefore, if you got non-zero, that means a cannot be 
the wine set by itself and and 2.2 to the power or here as, as i've told you a times 2.2 to the power of b cannot be zero by itself or cannot be the y intercept by itself hence neither formulas consist of a constant or coefficient equal to the y intercept hence d is the correct answer neither one nor two